right guys, so my fender flares came in from clenched. I went with, um, and I'm really excited for this by the way, but I went with um, some sliders for the rear and some new school XLs for the front. And I'm hoping that they fit well. I know the new school XLs, they make them specifically for new type or new school muscle cars and stuff. So um, I know those will fit in the front. Um, I may want to trim them up a little bit and do some uh, body filling and stuff like that, but not really sure yet if they'll fit right um, exactly how I want them. But I, the sliders is kind of what I'm worried about. The sliders coming, they'll they'll stop somewhere back here. I'm kind of hoping that they come to back here, but that the the actual well, the actual well will be big enough and actually fit over. Um, but I'm about to open up this box, see. Uh, do a little dry fitting and see if it actually works. So, here we go. bunch of hardware and then all the rubber trim gasket that goes in there. Paper. All right, so this is a slider. This is for sure a slider. It's got a very distinct shape to it. So, took my steak knife and cut this open. I mean, <laughs> things aren't getting dinged up, that's for sure. So my thought was it'd go like this. I'm gonna kind of flex it. I might have to, since it's plastic, I might have to flex it a little bit. The problem with flexing it is, the more you squeeze it in, the further out the flare sticks, and the more you flex it, like pulling it outwards, the flatter the flare gets, and so the less it actually sticks out. And these flares are a 2.7 inch bump out. So let me tape it on and let's see if we can get it where I think it should go. Both of the uh, new school flares into one. So this is one of the new school flares, and so you can see the difference. The slider has a really big side here, and it tapers off. The smaller side there, the new school flare has a uh, has more of a cupping to the whole flare, but it's even all the way through for the most part. Kind of tapers at the very very end, but that's it. So um, let me remove the camera, point it over here. And we can see how this one looks up front. The thought. Thought with this one, um, I'm not a huge fan of it going full fender from one end all the way to the other end. So um, the thought is I may end up chopping this one too, uh, just to create kind of a uh, almost like the slider how it stops. So it's it's full in the front end and comes all the way over, and then it may I may chop it somewhere around there. Um, 
kind of uh, middle of these two body lines probably. Um, somewhere in there. These flares are going to take some work. Not really sure how I'm going to do it, but they're definitely going to change some. But this is how it looks so far. This is, this is kind of the general idea. And I have, uh, I have the spacers for these wheels to go ahead and uh, kick the wheels out. But you can see how much wider the car gets with these on just like this. So we'll just... So you can see that the car, it does come out quite a bit. That's 2.7 inches apparently. Um, I have two inch spacers, so it should put the wheels at just inside. It won't really, it won't poke any. Um, but I'll have to adjust it from there. See what I need to, what I need to do to get the uh, fitment right how I want it. I don't exactly want it to be um, like stanced fitment. Um, I do still want it to kind of be functional in a sense but i i want it to fit well like I'll, i do want it to look good still um fitted just not all the way like that that really good looking stanced look um where it's fitted so perfectly like the tire is uh stretched just underneath the fender and then you've got the rim just sitting right here <laughs> like that's that's not the goal exactly um that's just not going to be achievable in my setup so and nor do i want the problems that come along with it looking that good and that clean you know so but that's where we're at now and uh yeah we'll see see how this turns out <laughs> 